Welcome to this video. Thank you for joining me. This is just gonna be a cute little vlog over the span of like a week or so. Hope you enjoy. I'm a little bit sick recording this voiceover, so excuse the voice, but um, meal prepping can usually take four to six hours for me. I'm a slow cook, okay? So I usually just put a, a movie on or some music on and make a whole day out of it. This time I was watching Ratatouille for some cooking inspiration. I feel like I'm missing something with this one. I've got all these pieces that just don't seem to fit in any of them. I finally started my new UX design project at my company. I flew over to England to meet the people that I'm working with on this project. I'm really, really tired because I got in from my flight at midnight. I woke up at 5 a.m. for a 7 a.m. flight, the entire day meeting, and then 10 p.m. flight back and got in at midnight. It was a rough day. That's the end of work talk. No more work talk. This month, I'm hosting a Halloween party. I'm really excited about that. My mom is such an event queen. She has so many decorations and accessories for these sorts of things. Like she's hosted murder mystery dinner parties. Her attic is absolutely full of decorations. Best believe I will be stealing some of them for this Halloween party. And I hope I do her justice. You know what? My mom actually made a lampshade out of not actual human skin. She made it look like it was made out of human skin. Iconic. I feel like I always end up as a vampire or a pirate, mostly because I own a pirate hat and corsets. What else can you be with those things? Enough about me. How are you? What are you gonna be for Halloween? What are you doing for Halloween? Are you gonna dress up? Do you not celebrate it? Do you have a little chihuahua that you're gonna put in a bat costume? Let me know. I think the feel of the room was going in that direction anyway. Mm -hmm. Do you ever have the impulse at like 10 p.m. to just go ahead and change your hairstyle? Oh, no. <laughs> oh shit. I don't know what compelled me to pick up the house scissors and just go at my hair. It's not even hair scissors, they're just normal paper scissors. <laughs> and this is what it turned out like. I had to go into the office the next day, so I had absolutely no time to figure out how to fix it. Here's me with a very sour look on my face because I'm having a bad hair day. Here's me working for a couple of hours. I'm in the sketch phase of the design sprint. At the end of this week, I have to have a fully fledged clickable prototype of the software that we are working on ready for the client. So that's what I'm working on. After work, here's me lighting a couple candles, setting the mood. I'm about to go tattoo a friend. For all those who don't know, I used to be a tattoo artist and I do it on the side occasionally for friends, for birthdays and stuff. I didn't manage to get any clips of the actual tattoo being done, but here's me in the studio setting up. I honestly really love this. Like, I love it so much. <laughs> oh, I made these and then I totally forgot to put them up anywhere. I feel like they'd look nice here. What do you think? I usually put fresh flowers here, but these will never die. I got this candle <clears throat> a couple days ago. 
I used to have this candle when I was about 16 years old. Just chilling in my room. Oh my fucking god. There we go. This candle, what is it? It's Midsummer's Night Yankee Candle. Now this candle brings me back to being 16 on my bedroom floor in my mom's fancy dress. I'm writing in my diary. I've got Alice in Chains on in the background. It's about 10 p.m. I'm feeling a bit sleepy. I'm about to go to bed soon. And I'm practicing eyeliner in the mirror. That's exactly what this smell smells like to me. It's just crazy how smell can bring you back. I'm actually really happy with how the tattoo I did turned out today. I haven't tattooed in about a year. I sometimes get my friends asking if I can do a tattoo for them and I've been kind, kind of hesitant to say yes because I haven't tattooed in so long. Obviously I'm an app designer now. I'm not a tattooist anymore, but I do still have the skill and I still enjoy it from time to time. I've been telling my friend that, I've, that I'll do this tattoo for them for ages and their birthday finally came around. So I said, you know what? I'll just go in and I'll practice and I'll do it. And I practiced on an orange because orange kind of mimics the same way skin will weep when you tattoo it. So I, I did my practice on the orange just to make sure that I had the skill still and I did, thankfully. And it actually went really well. My lines were clean and he was so happy with it. It was sort of a sentimental tattoo for his dog that had passed away. So I'm glad I got to be able to be part of that. I wouldn't go back to tattooing full time because I just really like app design and I like working from home. I think I might be interested in getting back into tattoo maybe for the weekends. I just realized it probably sounds super weird for me to say, oh, I'll just hop back into tattoo or yeah, I do an occasional tattoo when it comes up. It's because my parents run the studio they're both tattoo artists so that's why i have that flexibility i actually felt excited again i remember i got really burnt out with tattoo just because of the pressure and not having a steady income it just wasn't making me happy but if i don't have to rely on it for my income then i think i'd be open to it again i don't know i feel like i'm just rambling now um that's probably a sign that i should get ready for bed I want to stay up and talk to you guys, but I don't really know what about. Would you guys be interested in me making a video about Notion? Maybe I could make a vlog about tattooing. You know what? That's a good idea. I'm going to write that down. I finally figured out what I think I want to be for Halloween. No, that's a lie. Like, I don't know why I said that. I actually have no fucking idea. I'm just lying to y'all. I'm just lying. I'm a liar. I have nothing else to say. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble about fucking candle and a tattoo. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed go- bed, bed bug bite. Let's go get a book. I bought The Song of Achilles. I only got it because the cover looks nice. Once I'm done with it, it will suit the bookshelves in here. Terrible reason to buy a book, but it is what it is. Plot twist. So I'm a couple chapters in, I'm up to page 35. Spoiler alert, the young awkward prince of the king grew up unaccepted by his father and his friends and his peers. One day, one fateful day, he got into a little bit of a scuffle with one of the boys, pushed him over and knocked him and he hit his head and he died. He just bled out and died. The family of the boy who died demanded he either be put to death or exiled. But the king, thinking to himself, well, my son's kind of a failure anyway, decided to exile him. And he went to another kingdom and this kingdom is sort of a, a refuge or sanctuary for all the people who've been kicked out of their families. He starts to make eye contact with one of the guys there and he finds out that he's the prince of the guy who runs the place. Well, he gets jealous of this prince guy because he seems so loved by his father. Daddy issues, they're in a storage closet together. Daddy issues are prevalent in this one. Spoiler alert, this is a That's not what I was expecting when I picked this up. But yeah, I'm actually really enjoying it so far, but I'm gonna continue reading this tonight and go to sleep soon. 
I have a big day tomorrow. At work, it's the last day of the design sprint and we're reporting back the findings to the client. That sounds so vague. I will see you in the morning. Sound check. I'm just testing that my camera's working, everything's working for this presentation. Not gonna lie, I am shitting myself. I always get so nervous before these things. My heart is racing and I can't tell if it's because of the caffeine or if I'm actually nervous. Um, I wish I could tell you the client, but I can't. It's under wraps, but it's a big client, okay? It's a big client. <sighs> Okay, it looks good. It looks good. I'll try and get a couple clips of the presentation actually being done, but I don't know how much I can show you because top secret information. I'm joining, I'm joining, I'm joining the meeting. Thank you guys. See ya. <laughs> That went so well, they are so impressed. I've just got to do a quick five minute debrief with my team and then I'll update you. You just had a global brand say that's one of the best they've ever seen as well. You don't really get higher praise than that, to be honest, and it's a very cool brand, but massive well done to the two who are actually doing the design work. Extremely impressive. It's only half three, but my boss said I can finish up early because I've earned it. I'm gonna log off and continue reading the song of Achilles. Mwah!